time to go back to our TXT build. Let's get into it. Golf Karting TV is your inside source for the coolest upgrades, mods, and accessories to take your trusty golf cart from drab to fab. Hey, and welcome back to Golf Karting TV. This is Matt with Converted Carts. Glad to have you back today. So today we're going to jump back into the build that we started uh, our own. The one that we're building is Converted Carts. It's a 2018 TXT, EasyGo TXT. And uh, if you haven't seen the first video, go back and watch that. I'll make sure to include a link here uh, in the description. And you can see kind of the very beginning stages of how we got started and what we're planning and what we're getting going. And today we get into a lot more details where I we basically tear it all down and starting to build it back up. So I'm excited to get this going. I want to share this with you and have you kind of go along this journey with us. So take a look. I'll be back at the end here to wrap it up with a couple of comments, but let's jump in. All right. So we are down to the bones. So for those who didn't see the previous episode, real quick recap, we have a 2018 EasyGo TXT that was right off of a golf course. So it's had five years of wear and tear, but uh, was in pretty good shape. We lifted, uh, you can watch video before, but we lifted it, added new wheels and tires, and have now removed all of the body, the floor mats. Uh, we did replace the steering wheel, which I didn't capture last time, but we'll show that at the end. Uh, we've disconnected all of the electric. We have now the, uh, basically the frame, we are down to the frame of the cart. So we're starting from there. Today we're working on the Mad Jacks Storm Body Kit. Sorry for the mess, but we've got a black Storm Body Kit that we're putting on and we're excited to do that, and it's gonna go from this to what should be pretty sweet. So, there we go. Storm body kit, front cowl. I'm gonna talk about this rack or the windshield here in a sec. Tsunami seats in, at least the start of it. I'm gonna record today and then I should have one more where I should be able to finish. But man, look at that. This rear end, especially, I think, looks awesome with the storm body. Got a little trunk piece that slides in. 
I will have a seat that's gonna go, the rear seat's gonna go on here to fit in. I'll include some time-lapse stuff to kind of show what we were doing and how it took. It was, I would say, medium grade as far as difficulty goes. I mentioned that I might say something about this. The hardest part, at least for us yesterday, when we were working on this, was these windshields. Um, I don't know if it's when we tightened these screws back onto the body for the struts, this front strut um, rack for the windshield. If that squeezed these in, like inside towards the middle because the the windshield seemed like it was bigger than um, what it was before. And now we're having a hard time fitting it in. Uh, one thing I think I learned after the fact or thought about after the fact was maybe I should have put the this bracket or brace or whatever you want to call it piece onto the windshield first and then attached it to the frame. But lesson learned, uh, we got to figure that part out. Um, and then, like I said, today and kind of future what's happening next is I got to finish the back put the back seat in here, but that's gonna be connected with this rear facing seat. Um, the, the front seat actually connects to the rear seat. So that's gonna go on there. Rear seat's gonna go in place. I've got fender flares that are coming. Side step, Mad Jack side step that's gonna go on the side. Fender flares on the front, plus the wheels will be pushed out. I've got a one inch spacer coming for the front two. I've got two inches on here. Um, and the top, I'm going to put on this, the red dot top sail canvas top that's going to go and it'll extend over the top of the, the rear seat here. So that's coming, um, floor mat, I have a floor mat coming from Deco mats, custom mat that they made for us and we'll be putting that in. And I think that's mostly it. Uh, oh, I've got a little stereo system here. This is just back on the side, but um, just a little Innova Bluetooth kind of a thing that'll fit in between the front seat and rear seat. So we'll install that as well. But it's looking pretty good. Coming along nicely. <laughs> Well, there you go. So that is good stuff. We're really having a good time and certainly learning a lot. It has been a learning experience. It's still all new for us uh, and we're continuing to do. I've got the video that I captured. is isn't quite everything done that we've done yet, but uh, still to come. We'll have one final video to wrap everything up and show you the final, uh, final results of that here soon. So one thing that I didn't show just because it's not really fun to watch is the uh, process of all the wiring. So everything that we did, installing all the lights and connecting the front and reverse and all the things, all that part stuff all came and it's nice and easy, easy to follow. Instructions were great uh, and everything turned out really well. But again, it's just not something that we included in the video because it's a lot of boring footage to, to connect wires. So um, again, Everything that we're building here, uh, we'll have links to, especially as we come to that final episode, so you know what we're building, what we have, where you can get it. You can get it all at convertedcarts.com. So if you're looking for help, if you want that kind of stuff, uh, hopefully you can check us out. And otherwise, like, subscribe, share, do all those kind of things. And make sure you come back here next week at noon for another episode of Golf Karting TV. See you then.